Thanks for joining me. Please feel free to subscribe, like, or share this presentation. I would like to talk to you today about discriminatory algorithms. Let us begin. What are algorithms? An algorithm is a set of rules to be followed in calculations of other problem-solving operations, especially by a computer. We depend on algorithms daily to enhance our lives. Algorithmic discrimination takes place when a computer system reflects implicit values, principles, ideologies, morals of its human designer in its calculation. Now let's focus on some forms of discriminatory algorithms. Algorithms can lead to biases in the criminal justice system. For example, it should be noted that when algorithms are used for sentencing, blacks tend to get longer times than others within the population. Algorithms can also lead to errors in facial recognition software. Research from MIT in 2018 found that one particular algorithm could correctly identify a person's gender from a photograph 99% of the time, but only if the person was white. Bias in lending when algorithms are used can also lead to discriminatory practices. Researchers have stated that banks that use algorithms within their lending practices give blacks and Latino borrowers higher interest rate on loans than other segments within the population. Algorithms can also lead to discrimination based on physical features. In 2016, an algorithm was used to judge a beauty contest with over 6,000 contestants from 100 countries. According to the report, there were 44 winners, which included few Asians and only one had dark skin. Developers' influence can also lead to discriminatory algorithms. Developers' influence on data creates gender bias as well as other biases. Algorithms can also lead to biases in recruitment. According to one report by William Gutz, Amazon ran into trouble with an AI-powered recruitment tool that discriminated against women. I would like to make the following recommendations to reduce algorithmic discrimination. Number one, curriculum change and access will be necessary to equip developers with the knowledge needed to design and develop inclusive algorithms. Number two, designers of algorithms should be aware of the benefits of inclusive language and should also engage in critical reflective practice to evaluate how algorithmic coded language can lead to biases in relation to gender, race, and name association. Number three, algorithms developed should be evaluated by a diverse community of stakeholders beyond the developers and should include independent external reviewers. Number four, the relevant industry or industries should create incentives to attract a diverse pool of workers in this field. This would give greater vision for the development of non-discriminatory algorithms. Number five, technology humility. All tech companies should begin to consider how best technology serves humanity. A key point for developers will be, how will the algorithm enhance the lives of others? And finally, Enhance data protection laws to ensure that the vulnerable groups within our society are not discriminated against based on algorithmic calculations. My final thoughts. Algorithms that are not explained are dangerous to our world and our children's future. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to sharing with you another topic next week. Please subscribe, like or share this presentation.